Hey everybody. Um, today I'm going to be replacing this uh, part of my K40 for the air assist. Um, I bought a extra lens that goes inside here and then um, I'm going to basically be taking this off. And then I decided to reuse the mirror, uh, which I probably won't. Um, I'll probably end up ordering a new one later, but for today, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna make an attempt to realign it and then cut something. Um, I also get the, uh, this air pump here, which is really nice. I got all these parts off Amazon. Uh, nothing too crazy, not that expensive, but I was having problems with things burning. So, um, you know, my cuts weren't coming out. Uh, as good as I wanted to so hopefully this will help um, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to loosen up this mirror see if I can do this with one hand without completely messing up my mirror Actually, give me a second. Let me get that so out. got the mirror out. This is kind of interesting. I've only really run it for a little while. You can already kind of see how like it's burning on there. Plus it looks like, um, I've read online, if you see that, that smudge right there, it kind of looks like a fingerprint. I'm guessing that uh, whoever put this thing together just put their thumb right on that thing. But also it's like burning the mirror itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside I have my um, my new lens in here, so I'll just kind of close that up, keep it together for now. Um, and then the other thing is, this is really tight, so what I'm doing to get it off, is actually put a screwdriver in here, and then I'm just going to turn it, get a little, there we go, kind of loosen it up. I need my hands again. All right, I unscrewed it. So here's the bottom. You notice there's the lens on the inside. Um, just for demonstration purposes, this is the bottom half. If I unscrew this, um, da -da -da, there's the lens. That's, um, it's not, it's basically sandwiched between the two pieces of metal. If you notice, it's quite large. The, uh, the new lens is actually wider in diameter, but it's not as thick. Um, not that it really matters. Let me put this back together here. Because I don't have to like completely put it together. Um, I just assemble this somewhat. So I'm keeping the same bracket uh, and this should work just fine. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Um, I mean, unless the diameter of this is different. Which, uh, give me a second. We could probably do a test, find out. Yep, sure enough, that tops. Well, that's no fun. So it did not fit. It's a little big. Um, so I'm probably going to have to drill a hole or tap it. But not tap it, but I'll have to drill a hole so that it'll fit. And let me make sure that I'm not missing some piece in here or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my drill and I have a step bit that I'm gonna use. Um, that is unfortunate that that did not drill in my step bit. Um, I do wanna point out too that I bought uh, these, which I liked the idea of like the angle. Um, but the way that the threading is on the top, it did not also did not fit on the um, on the end there. So don't buy those. All right. So I thought I needed a stepper, but I was completely wrong. This whole bottom half screws off, and then if you notice, there's like a little tab in there. You can stick a screwdriver in there and tighten it up. Um, so let me go ahead and do that real quick and look at that 
fits just perfect. So I didn't have to do any screwing. I didn't have to do any drilling, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mount that. And then I'll be your... All right, look at that. Looks great. Perhaps still haven't put the mirror in. This is the smaller circle, points to the other mirror. And then basically, I just tightened it down with the screwdriver. Um, I did kind of eyeball it. I'm figuring I might have to take it apart and readjust it. Uh, you know, based on like what's going on. So this piece, which is the part that screws underneath here, uh, you put your lens in here, which I'll do in a second. And then um, basically it's the, um, at least from the diagram, it looks like the rounded side goes to the top and the flat side goes to the bottom. Uh, so let me give that a try. All right, so here we got it, put it in there. Just kind of did not touch it whatsoever. Um, you know, once again, being that I've read that if you touch the lens, the dirt on the lens will cause, um, you know, the, will cause it to burn. Um, I've not personally experienced that, but you know what? I don't want to experience that. <laughs> um, so here's my old lens or my old mirror. Uh, I still have the paper that came with the other one sitting over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off real quick and then I'm gonna put it on the top over here. Uh, you do have to unscrew the pieces. All right, so I put the bottom on. Um, a little Allen wrench piece right there that I had to tighten up. Um, it seems like it's working pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and do some test runs um, just to kind of see what happens. And I think we're good. Um, I'll probably, you know, once again, I'll probably have some alignment things that I'm gonna wanna deal with. But, um, you know, the old piece was pretty much almost in the exact position as the other one. So unless it's actually hitting against this bottom, which, once again, if you remember, the bottom was almost just like an open gap, so it had a lot of room to, like, be wrong <laughs> from an aiming perspective. And this new one, um, you know, especially with the way the mirror sits in here, it doesn't have that like clamp on it anymore. And I thought about taking this bottom one and then putting that clamp up on there so that it would touch it. Um, but um, my guess is I'm probably gonna end up buying all new mirrors anyway pretty soon. And then I'll we'll probably do another video on that and then we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I do have another tube coming. But in the meantime, what I might do is just um, connect a temporary tube on there. And I probably would like to do some sort of, um, like one of those tube, or tube wire systems. So that way the, uh, the tube, when it's like going around, it's not gonna interfere um, with the cut or anything. All right, so I ran some tests. Uh, first, I want to mention that my aim was originally closer to this base here, where I could, you know, pretty much just put a piece of wood down there and then cut it. And then now it seems like it's almost a, closer to an inch off. But what I've been doing is the mirror is, or not the mirror, the lens is actually higher. It used to be like probably farther down, but um, so I remeasured it and. Uh, this distance is about two inches away from about the bottom-ish little, like about here, because I figured that's where the lens is, and it's a two-inch lens, or a two-inch focal length when lens. Um, so probably just going forward, I'll probably just like, you know, measure it. And then this is the temporary tube that I had. I just had some laying around, so I went ahead and hooked it up. Um, but uh, it seemed to work pretty great. Um, it's cutting all the way through. See? And I uh, could even kind of cut further, which is nice. Um, this is, uh, I think, quarter inch. So, or no, one fourth inch uh, wood. So that's pretty cool. This is after I threw it. it didn't burn or anything, which is great. Because previously I'd have like you know, maybe a one inch flame, um, which I think was causing like my lens is in the inside of here to get dirty, which, you know, if you get that dust and smoke going around, it's gonna take away from the visibility of the laser. 
so I'll cut down on how it works. Uh, once again, I got all these parts from Amazon, and uh, it seems fantastic. I would currently, I'd highly recommend it. Um, now, one of the things I will probably get into, and I see this little shadowing that's going on here. I think when it's going around, it's either from blowing, which I kind of don't think so because see the pattern is pretty similar. So the other idea that I would have is it's actually the laser when it's shooting down. Um, if the, like say it's just panned or, um, you know, tilted or whatever, I don't know what they would really call that, but um, if it's not shooting exactly right, it might be hitting the wall of the uh, air assist and then causing a reflection. So I'm gonna do a lot more testing and then figure that out. And then I figure if I if I figure that out, I'll go ahead and post another video. Um, but uh, thanks for watching and you know, give me some thumbs up. Tell me what you want to see or what you like, and then maybe I'll do some more on this.